All right, so in this video, we're taking a look at a phone mount. This particular phone mount has a telescopic arm. First, a few images. You can take a look at some of the details on this, and then we'll jump into the video. All right, so as stated, we're taking a look at this phone mount. But before we take a look at this in detail, a little more detail, first you got a little QC quality control, a little user guide, user manual type, and the box that it comes in. Okay, so I'm going to set this over there to the side. So I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Biggest issue I have with this phone as far as uh, mounts go finding what will fit this because I use a fully enclosed case with the screen protector and everything so it's got a pretty good amount of weight to it uh, you know a rugged case but with rugged cases I have a problem finding a mount that will actually hold the phone because of the thickness or the width sometimes this mount works with this phone no problem alright so really quickly I forgot to mention something so I want to add this to the video I'm gonna throw this to the beginning and then get into the rest of it because I realized I forgot something. Uh, underneath, when you move this arm, underneath here, as far as the suction cup goes, it has that sticky gel that we talked about, or gonna talk about. But here, there's also a lever, and you push that down, it actually causes the uh, suction cup to you know, go like this to a more concave, so it actually kinda uh, suctions on. And so that's just a quick and easy release mechanism. And then you're going to have that stickiness that is going to supplement the suction uh, cup force that's created by flipping this lever. So I forgot to mention that lever right there. Um, realize that in hindsight. So I'm just going to add this to the video and then get into the rest of the video so you can see what's up. Okay. Thanks. All right. So this is a very sticky so if I stick my finger on there, you can see how that, almost like a flypaper type consisting. It doesn't leave any kind of residue, so that's really good. Um, these work fairly well, especially on windshields and everything. So if you wanted to, you could actually mount this on the windshield and, you know, spin, you know put your uh, phone in here. I have to loosen this up first. Ugh and have it like like that and you probably could find an angle that you like and have it on the windshield but more so it's intended to be on the dashboard and then you have the telescopic option here and you can of course lock that in place so if you wanted to keep that you know fully extended or anywhere in between kind of just do like that I'm gonna tighten it up all right and then you have this piece here and down here so that's where you're going to grab hold and that's when it's going to allow you to tighten that or loosen that so if you want to be able to loosen this really really loose or I'm just going to tighten it all right so I'm going to get it and I like this because I can really get a grip on this instead of just having these little uh, pieces here there's little wings come out that's a really good thing that a lot more people should use instead because it's a lot easier to get it really cinched down tight and once you do that, I mean, this thing doesn't really move at all. I can't get it to move at all. So, that said, you have a piece here that you can pull down or push up, depending upon how you need, you know, for your phone. You have a pressure-sensitive piece here. You hear that? So, it's already pressed down right now, but I want you to hear. And if you press these pieces here, it opens it up. And it snaps back into place. All right, so I'm gonna open that up. My phone, if I put it in place like that, as soon as it hits, it locks. I mean, it's not, I have to really, you know, kind of slam it. And the likelihood of that, I mean, if you're in a car accident, sure. But the likelihood of that in your typical driving scenario, especially when it's like this, 
you know, that's not going to be the type of force it's going to experience. It's going to be more up and down, up and down. You saw there's no, there should be no problem. You know, you've got the uh, extra piece here. It's got all the rubber pieces on it everywhere. So if you didn't have a case or didn't use a case and you had um, any concerns about scratches or damages, you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. This piece here operates really well, locks into place, snaps in really, really tight. Springs are very, very strong on that, so that's really, really nice. And this is really, really good. Like I said, it's even better on a windshield than a dashboard. I have a cloth dashboard, so I can't use these in the car, but I think these are really great in the uh, in, in your home or in your house. You know, you can have it sitting on a desk, um, sitting up on a, like a cabinet or a shelf or, or wherever it is, you know, you, you want to use it actually. Uh, you could use this in the kitchen, uh, maybe on top of your microwave or on a countertop, um, you know, something like that. So I'm a big fan of using these even outside of the car because in the house there's so many different places. Uh, you may want to have one in the bathroom for some reason. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure people would want to do so. And you could use it for uh, your car if you wanted to. That sticky adhesive, you can just kind of clean that uh, warm soapy water and let it dry and it becomes very you know tacky and adhesive again doesn't leave that residual stickiness behind so it has a feeling of uh, fly paper without the residual stickiness which is really cool and there's no scent well, no scent to it so I mean I don't imagine it was going to bother anybody um, of course you still have the option here to adjust so you can raise and lower so there's a lot of different you know flexibility in how this is utilized and how you decide to use it but I like that little pressure sensitive because as soon as the phone hits it snaps into place my phone is so wide um, as you can see when I put it into place you don't hear that big click because the arms barely move but they move enough that they you know connect and hold the phone just fine so anyway um, if you want to find out more about this, you can check out the link below and see if your phone's going to fit, you know, checking all the compatibility and everything, just to be certain. Um, so, that's pretty much it, though. I think it's really cool. looks really nice. It almost has a carbon fiber weave pattern kind of look to it. But, anyway, that's pretty much it. If you want to find out more, check out the link. Thanks for watching.